and T tests, and we found statistical significance across all levels. And, and that was true whether we did t-tests or we did the pairwise comparisons through the GLM approach. So where is the interaction here? Is there a statistical significant interaction? Uh, where is it? The truth is, is that you have to do a series of two by twos to find out where it is. Now, I'm going to uh, do that now by selecting my data. I'm going to select my job category levels. I'm going to first unselect my, I want to have my whole data set looking, I want to be able to look at my whole data set. I don't want it to group. But I do want to select cases. Now I want to select cases where employment category is less than three. So I'm going to compare my, my uh, custodians versus clerks. So I'm excluding managers in this analysis. All right. And I'm going to run uh, the GLM. I'm just going to do it to the to the um, cuz I've already looked at everything else. I just want to look at the interaction. Um, I guess it's a good question, you know. I'm actually going to be changing my error term now because of this, but uh, let's check it out. I'm going to go to the plot first. So here are the diff this is the difference between the means. We knew males score higher than females. And we knew there was that uh, custodial workers make more than clerical. But it's the pattern of the increase that we're looking now. Is this it, this looks higher? This rate of increase looks higher for males than females. And the interaction is going to tell us whether that is in fact statistically significant or not. And it's not. Here's the test of between subjects effect gender by job cat, f equal 1.34, and it's not statistically significant. So there isn't the interaction that we uncovered in the first analysis is not uh, apparently due, this significant interaction here is not apparently due to uh, the first two levels. Now let's look at select my cases. This is a very long video. I'm imp I'll be impressed if anyone is able to follow this long, but I don't feel like I've actually gone on, on many tangents in this case. So uh, so I want job category to be greater than 1, because I want to look at uh, custodial versus manager. And let's look at my, uh, my um, interaction again. Let's check out the, the plot first, just to see what we're looking at. That looks like there might be a little bit more of an effect in terms of the interaction. So uh, males and females, uh, custodial, right, OK. Now the between, so oh, geez, it's actually not statistically significant. Let's look here. So the difference between custodial and manager, even though it looks like the means might have evidenced a statistically significant interaction, is not the case. So it looks like it's left with the last level. I mean, the last comparison. Although it is possible that there's a more complicated, I hope that's not true, that there's a more complicated type of interaction. So job category equal 1, uh, or job category equal 3. Continue. So I'm going to be comparing clerks versus managers now. It should be said that the sample size isn't actually very big, so it might be having a difficulty uncovering the effect. Let's look at the plot. So here's the plot between clerical and manager. I suspect this will be very significant because the sample size is so much bigger. So we can see the rate of increase looks much bigger. So for females, yep, they increase from from clerical to manager, but the males they go they skyrocket. So let's look at this uh, interaction effect, and it is in fact statistically significant. The job by gender by job cat uh, f value of thirty thirty. Uh, 13.557 and statistically significant. And we can see that the partial data squared is actually equal nearly 
to the, I think it was 3.3% in the original GLM uh, multifactorial ANOVA I did. So that actually is where all the, the variance is being pushed. It's actually being accounted for in that 1 versus 3 comparison. And so that's really how you're left with having to discuss this interaction is by doing a series of um, uh, 2 by 2 uh, factorial ANOVAs rather than a series of t-tests at each level uh, as I did previously all the way up here. So instead of doing t-tests at each level, which probably 90%, maybe 80% of people, that's how they follow up an interaction, is they test, do t-tests at each level, and we found that there was statistical significance everywhere, and it didn't really help us understand really where the interaction was. And I did that two ways. I did it with the pairwise comparison by the adding the syntax, as I did here. And then I did it also with the t-test. Uh, uh, but then in the end, really how I did it was by doing a series of factorial ANOVAs. Anyway, this has been really long. I'm, I'm impressed if anybody followed this, just like the MANOVA video that ended up being really long. Uh, but this is still really interesting on, on how you, when you have unequal sample sizes, which is really often in, in practice, um, and when you have interactions, and the main effect is true across all levels. You, you get significant t-tests everywhere. How do you interpret the interaction? Well, this is how you do it. Uh, I hope you found this video useful, and uh, thanks for watching. How to study.